These are your notes for converting linear equations from slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, to standard form, which is ax plus by equals c. So we're going to convert from this slope-intercept form, where the slope is next to the x, to the standard form, ax plus by equals c. The first step you have to do is you need to write this equation. So we're going to write that here. y equals negative 11 divided by 10, x minus 1. We want to move this quantity over to the left. You do that by doing the opposite. So since this is negative, we're going to do a plus 11 over 10x and a plus 11 over 10x here. Draw your line. We do the same on each side of the equal sign, and we rewrite it. What we have left here is, let's just write it on this side. We have 11 over 10 x plus y equals a negative 1 because we were able to cancel those two out. So this becomes this quantity plus y equals a negative 1. Now we're going to, since we have this number in the denominator, we're going to multiply everything by 10. So 10 times 11 over 10 x plus y equals negative 1. Everything on both sides. want to multiply by 10. So when we do that, 10 times this, 10 times that, y, then 10 times a negative 1, I need a little more room. So we probably have to do all our work on a separate sheet of paper. Let me put another sheet here. Um, that's going to be 10 multiplied by 11 divided by 10, x plus 10 multiplied to y equal to 10 multiplied to a negative 1. Okay, so that's what we're doing here. We're distributing the 10. So 10 times 11 over 10, if you don't know what that is, I'll show you in the calculator. We put 10 times alpha y equals, enter, 11, 10 at the bottom. And that gives us 11. So basically what happens, this number and this number 10 are able to become 1, and therefore we have 11 x that's left, plus 10 times y is just 10 y, equals to 10 times a negative 1 is a negative 10. That's our answer. We write, this is our standard form. Notice the a, x plus b, y equals c. Where my a value is 11, my b value is 10. So I write that here. My standard form is 11x plus 10y is equal to a negative 10. And that's our standard form. So we always want to box our work. We want to show this is our answer. I did all that work while my pencil was not ignoring. Here is my answer for my standard form. It's right here. And this is my work. So you're going to probably have to use an extra sheet of paper because I could not put all my work on the same paper. Now, number two. <coughs> we have an equation like this. So the first thing we do is you write it down. Second step is you're going to move the x quantity back over to the right. So this is a minus 2, so we're going to do plus 2x. I like this one because there is no fraction. So we have 2x plus 1y equals negative 9. Whoops, where did that 1 come from? It was invisible. It's a 1 there. Okay. So here's my answer. I'm going to put it up here so we can see it. My answer is 2x plus 1y is equal to a negative 9. And that's my final answer. It's in standard form. My a value is equal to 2. My b value is equal to 1. 
My C value is equal to negative 9. If I want to check my work, I know my slope would be a negative A over B. That's going to be a negative 2 divided by 1. So it's a negative 2, just like I have here. So I'm able to check my work. All right? That's how you're going to do these problems. Now we got another problem. This has a lot of fractions. They're killing me with these fractions. They're killing you too? I know. So just rewrite the problem. Y equals negative 7 fifths X minus 1 fifth. We're going to do like we did last time. We're going to move this quantity over here by just doing the opposite. So it's going to be a plus 7 fifths X. All right. So our new equation is going to be 7 over 5x plus 1y. All right, I had a little visitor, but we're going to keep going. So these two cancel on this side, and I have plus 7, 5, 7 fifths x plus y. I put the 1 in front, equals to a negative 1 fifth. So... There's this problem here. There's five. So we want to use this denominator like we did first is to multiply five times everything. So it's going to be five times seven fifths x plus one y equals a negative one fifth. So we're going to multiply this five times this times this and times this. So that's going to be <clears throat> 5 times 7 fifths x plus 5 times 1y equal to that same 5 times a negative 1 fifth. Okay? Now, if you remember from what we used to do in grade school, or if you don't remember, just take your calculator, 7 fifths times 5. You'll find that these cancel, and my answer is 7x. 5 times 1 is just 5y. 5 times this is going to be a negative 1, and that's our final answer. So that's my standard form. So we're going to write that here. 7x plus 5y equals negative 1. And that's our answer. And this one was a little more complicated, right? It was kind of different because it had fractions on both the numbers, but that doesn't scare us. We just kick them out from under the bed. The boogeyman under the bed, kick him out and then multiply. So everybody's beating up on 5. Because it had to be distributed here, here, and here. That's three people against this one. We got rid of that five. So it's 7x plus 5y equals negative one. All right. Next one. <clears throat> 7 twelfths x plus 3 fourths. So we're going to write down the equation. Y equals 7 twelfths x plus 3 fourths. And this is a positive 7 twelfths. It's positive. So in order to move it, we have to make it negative to take it over here. So that's going to be what? A negative 7 twelfths x plus y equals 3 fourths. What did you do, Ms. Chambers? You didn't write it twice. Well, I was hoping you all noticed the pattern. Every time we eliminate it, we just had a certain amount left. So... What we're doing on here is, let me fix this. What we're doing here is, I know I'm moving this quantity over here, so this can become a negative 7 twelfths x plus y equals 3 fourths. So we're going to multiply everything by the boogeyman because you all are scared of fractions. So we're going to multiply everything by this 12. So let's do the work here. So I have 12 on the outside of parentheses because we're scared of the boogeyman. But Mama Chambers coming in and showing you that the boogeyman is not anything to be afraid of. Okay, so we're going to kick the boogeyman from under the bed, 
um, because that's the 12. We're getting them out. He's under the bed. We're getting them out. And I'm showing you that it's just your imagination. It's not that difficult. So 12 is going to multiply by this, that Y, and 3 fourths. Remember, there's an invisible 1 next to this Y. So when I multiply 12 times 1, we know what that's going to be. So let's write out what we have. We have 12 times a negative 7 twelfths. Plus 12 times 1y equal 12 times 3 fourths. Okay. All right. So yeah, I have to push that up and leave that right about there. Okay. So this 12 multiplied by this gives me just a negative 7x plus 12 times 1 is 12y equal 12 times 3 is 36 divided by 4 is just 9. So I have negative 7x plus 12y equals 9. And that's my answer. And I'm going to put that up here in standard form. And that's our final answer. And those are the ones with a little, will quite a little bit more work, but that fraction doesn't scare us. And that doesn't scare us. We just move it, move the quantity over, make it negative. Then we multiply it by the denominator on everything. And we move to the next one. Now I want to see if you guys can do the rest on your own. Yes, they're challenging, but you got this, all right? And you can check with your teacher for the solution station to get your answers.